Tea and green tea are a favorite drink of many people, but not everyone knows its full effects. In this video, we will learn more about tea and green tea as well as oolong tea. In this interesting video, we will learn from Dr. William Lee, medical doctor, internal medicine specialist, research scientist, and New York Times best-selling author of Eat to Beat Disease and Eat to Beat Your Diet. Video content is as follows. How effective is tea for health? Green tea or oolong tea which is better? Does green tea prevent cancer? Is hot tea or cold tea better? How many cups of tea should you drink a day? How effective is tea for health? Frame uh, a term. And what's wonderful uh, in my work is that many foods, more than 200 foods, but I think first among equals, I discovered with, through my own research is tea. And what does tea do? Tea helps our body's hardwired self-defenses resist disease. So our, when we're born, when we are formed in our mom's wombs, the day we're born, our health defense systems hardwired are fighting to, <laughs> uh, for our health. They help us oh, resist fine. disease. And the question isn't, you know, um, why do we get a disease? It's actually, why don't we get disease more often? And the reason and the answer to that question is because our health defenses are, are really, really um, raring to go. <clears throat> what are those health defenses? Angiogenesis, our circulation, our blood vessels, our stem cells regeneration, um, our microbiome, our healthy gut bacteria, our DNA, which also protects us from the environment, and our immune system. These are the five health defense systems that we are born with. And <clears throat> if we have environmental um, assaults from ultraviolet radiation, sunburn, uh, fumes, pollution, all these things that we're seeing radon, uh, <clears throat> All these things that can affect our health, chemicals that we inadvertently eat, um, they actually take down our health defenses. And what we're looking for, and this is really where tea comes in, are foods that we love, we enjoy, that really mean something to us because they bring us joy and pleasure and satisfaction that elevate our body's health defense systems. And tea is first among equals. I always have a cup with me when I try to go on. So um, it's not a clear cup, but it's um, something I have literally at my side. Absolutely. I mean, you know, <clears throat> tea comes from a plant and we know that plant-based foods are good for our health. That's now almost universally recognized. And um, the leaf of the tea, which is what we steep, and you're gonna show us this, uh, Mike, Nobody does it better than you, but from a sort of researcher's perspective, there are thousands of natural chemicals. We call them bioactives because they act, they, they interact with our biology. And um, some of the compounds that are natural chemicals are like catechins, gallic acid, uh, theanine and theoflavins. And they all wind up in a cup of tea when you brew it. Um, and um, some of the amazing things that have been shown by research is that drinking tea uh, actually can uh, help prevent our cells from aging. So it's even has a, I'm sure the emperor didn't have the science, but appreciated that anti-aging properties of tea it prevents our telomeres from shortening. So we stay, our cells stay younger, slow down cellular aging. Green tea or oolong tea, which is better? But I want people to remember oolong is a, is a different flavor along the continuum of green tea. And many people will be familiar with oolong tea because it's the kind of tea that often you get served in a Chinese restaurant. Now, the free tea you get is usually not a high quality tea, but it's you know perfectly drinkable. But there are some very special kinds of oolong tea, which is a little more brown in color, um, uh, but it's got a nice rounded flavor to it. I mean, you know, uh, you, you are you are really the tea meister. And all I wanted to be able to communicate is that don't be afraid of oolong. It is um, got a lot of the research that shows it's also good um, as green tea. It's just got a different it's a different style of the tea. But what do you know? You know a lot more about the Absolutely. ins and outs of the tea. Absolutely. Well, you know, the Earl Grey is really near and dear to my research heart because thanks to Harney and Sons, our, we did, had done this collaboration at my nonprofit organization, the Angiogenesis Foundation, where we studied the anti-angiogenic cancer-starving properties of tea 
And we had all assumed that, you know, the things that people have said that Japanese tea would be the strongest and then maybe the Chinese green tea. And nobody ever thought that um, Earl Grey would have any power at all. In fact, the reason that I was part of the design of this re experiment was research. We chose Earl Grey because we thought it was going to flunk the test. And little did we know that the Earl Grey came, won the gold in the competition. It actually blew away um, both Japanese and Chinese. That, you know, I always say is. Does green tea prevent cancer? You know, show me the, the evidence. Well, there's been clinical studies involving people showing that drinking two to three cups of green tea a day is associated with more than a 40% reduction in the risk of developing colon cancer. Reason mm -hmm. for, for everyone to enjoy it, you know? Uh, it's just a, it's a, and by the way, mm -hmm. it makes total sense, right? We're, we're pouring something into our intestines. That's going to make a, its trip all the way through us. And so it's protecting our gut as well. Yeah, no, that's great. So you've got a whole bunch of these interesting teas. And, you know, I drink tea anyway, and I can get it, but I grew up drinking loose leaf tea. And I kind of like loose tea, loose leaf tea, because um, I know when the tea is kind of settled to the bottom, um, I don't have to worry about, you know, it floating around. But um, I can also control the strength of the tea that way. And so it gives me control. Is hot tea or cold tea better? Um, there's a polyphenol. Everybody talks about polyphenols. <clears throat> the, I like to be specific. So the polyphenol that tea that has been best studied in tea is called EGCG, uh, epigallocatechin gallate, EGCG. And green tea has a lot of it because it's closest to what comes off the tea plant. Um, and, and then everything from that, all teas come from that downstream in terms of how they're prepared. Um, uh, but green tea has, you know, as much as 16 times the EGCG than some of the more processed or handled uh, teas. And one of the, my favorite things to talk about EGCG is that I did research on this with the National Cancer Institute, is if you take tea um, <clears throat> and you put it into the same system, that is growing blood vessels that would feed a cancer. Cancers are harmless so they can't get a blood supply. And if you put tea in that system, the blood vessels that would feed a tumor cannot grow. It takes, it, it takes them right apart, prevents new ones from growing. And, you know, and so people um, say, well, that's really amazing. Was it hot tea or cold tea? Well, in the research lab, we've got that's to really use amazing, cold yeah. tea. We use cold tea. Um, and so um, it, obviously you wouldn't put a poor hot tea into a, into a dish, you'd, you'd cook everything. Um, so this goes to show uh, that the hot tea, which is where it started, and then we had to chill the tea in the refrigerator in a glass um, uh, pitcher. We turned the hot tea into iced tea. And the next day when it was cold, we then tested it in the lab. So this shows that this anti-angiogenic cancer starving property of tea, the EGCG is present in both the hot tea and preserved through, you know, from the steeping, but also preserved in the refrigeration and cooling and still works when it's cold. So I, I think that the good news there is a hot tea, iced tea, it all works. It actually helps our circulation. It's been shown in the lab to help fight cancer growth. Other studies have shown lowers blood pressure, helps your blood cholesterol, helps your immune system. It's got antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. How many cups of tea should you drink a day? You know, I always say is, you know, show me the, the evidence. Well, there's been clinical studies involving people showing that drinking two to three cups of green tea a day is associated with more than a 40% reduction in the risk of developing colon cancer. Thank you for watching the video. Hope it is useful to you. Please share it with everyone.